Good morning, people. Today, we're going to talk about the process of starting a business, starting a business for the win. I've been on YouTube 10 years and I've helped a lot of people, thousands of people get their financial life together, get their business life together. But there's a group of folks who keep watching, but don't take action. This video is for you. You need to take action. 2020 is around the corner. We got a recession that's coming around the corner. And if you haven't gotten your personal finance together, that's a big problem. When I begin to be able to start businesses consistently and be successful, my personal finance life was stable and fine. You've got massive student loan debt, you've got massive consumer debt, you've got that plus a mortgage. All of your economic firepower to start a business is gone. You got to get your personal life together. One of the things when I do live streams is a lot of people will talk about, hey man, do I have to get my personal credit to get business credit? The game has changed since the 2007, 8, 9 recession. Unless you have a business making millions, they're going to require a personal guarantee and they're going to require financial documents, documents from you and tax returns for you to get these no PG products. And preferably if your bank where your money is flowing through sees what you do, they'll offer you some products. But let's talk about what you need to do first. 2020, we're going to call that the year of preparation. So many of you just want to jump off in the business, be classy, be clean, and just start making a gang of money. Let me tell you a story. When I was living in a boarding house and I had a job, I was a hardworking individual. I had three jobs, a full-time job, a part-time job, and a PRN job. That's when ever they needed me, I could call them and they had some hours. And I didn't understand the money game. I did not understand the business game. So I was working very, very hard for chump change. I make in a day what I used to make in a month back then. And one of the things that I did not understand because I was ignorant, I didn't understand how money is made. I didn't understand how business and products and services worked. I, I was completely clueless. And also on the personal finance side, I was not a spendthrift. I didn't go out and have a lot of bills. You know, it's just family issues, but I didn't save any money. One of the things that you need to do, even if you are a millionaire, is save and invest money. See, this is how it goes. You can have a high income, which is predicated on your business income, your job, but at some point that income could be disrupted. So when you, when you have a high income and you start putting money into as cash producing assets, this is the buffer zone that keeps you from going back to zero. And I didn't understand any of that stuff. I didn't understand none of that stuff when I was the, an ignorant, hardworking, average, blue collar, middle, you know, blue collar, middle class guy. I didn't understand any of that. And it cost me big time. Ignorance of the law does not prevent the law from affecting you. And I was very ignorant of economic law. And I fell myself into a bad situation. And for literally for the first 18 months, I was feeling sorry for myself. I'm a good person. Why is this happening to me? Why am I in this situation? Why am I living with crackheads? It was just such a mind melting experience. And then I started to self educate. And I began to read Earl Nightingale, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, Tony Robbins, Unlimited Power, and Earl Nightingale, Lead to Feel. These things saved me. They educated me. They filled in the gaps. They gave me the information that I needed to start a business. But I was fundamentally ignorant. So one of the things I did was I knew because I was working a temp agency job, which they let me go. Then I was like, okay, 
uh, the guy in the office was like, I can get you two more weeks. And I was like, no, 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 I'm out. I'll figure out something. So I go back to my room and I begin to deploy the Earl Nightingale method. I begin to use my mind. I begin to think. And I was like, okay, I'm a good dude. I'm a hard worker dude. I could do X, Y, and Z, but I don't have any experience. So I came up with the idea to create my own reference. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. So I create my own reference and I go to monster.com and I apply for jobs I knew I can do, but I just needed the opportunity to get on the dance floor. And one of the jobs called me, went for an interview, went for two interviews, got hired, got my offer letter, and literally within six weeks, I went from ashy to classy. This one job was five or six times more money than I was making working two or three jobs while I was doing this temp agency stuff. But once again, Earl Nightingale saved me. I realized that I had to be of service. So I was a service at Renegrate. I went out, I took the money that they were giving me and I bought educational material, self-education, Brian Tracy. I bought this cold calling book. I don't know. Don't ask me. Don't email me about the cold calling book. I don't know where it is. I got it from Lupanix. It was red and black cover. And I got this cold calling book and I read it literally in a, in a whole day. And I went to work and I started using the cold calling methods and they worked. And once again, I begin to see the power of self-education and determination. This literally supercharged my life. So I left Renegrate, then I went to Panel Systems Unlimited for like a $15,000 bump in base pay. I mean, 15 years. So, I, you know, just literally eight months ago, I was living in a boarding house and now I had this 60 some thousand dollar a year job plus commission. And I did the same thing I did at Rent a Crate. I went ahead and I self-educated. I learned everything I could about the industry. And then I bounced because I learned this from Earl Night and Grill. You determine your income. No one else should determine your income. So I, I bounced and moved into an operation where I could be fully remunerated for my efforts, 100% commission. But I was ready. I was ready. So I went into this situation. I used the cold calling skills I developed to build up a rapid sales list. And I started selling furniture and getting those commissions. And then that wasn't it. You know, I, I hit a big lick and I was feeling good about myself. Went out and bought a brand new BMW, paid cash, but I spent all the money in the bank. Then another situation came along. This is where I learned about LLCs and holding companies and all this other stuff. Then another situation came on where a customer said, if you sell our furniture, we'll buy new furniture from you. That was the game changer. That was the birth of GC Solutions. And within literally six months, I mean $150,000, plus I still had commissions coming in from my job and I learned the game. So for those of you, Many of you have got to go through this transformation. You've got a lot of stuff to learn. You've got a lot of stuff to put on your plate and you've got to eat it until your stomach gets full because it's 2020. I started this YouTube channel during the recession. First year, $62,000. Second year, $92,000. Third year, $1.5 million. So we ain't as scared of no recession around here because we know we can make money during the recession. We can make money during the recession. You can make money during the recession. You Say this. Say this to yourself. Wake up, look in the mirror, beat yourself on the chest and like, hey, I can make money during the recession and get busy. Make 2020 your year of preparation. This is first thing you do. You find an industry that you like. Do not go out and like, I'm going to do this because it make money, right? Uh, that's creating a job or source of income that you potentially could hate. Let me tell you another story. When I first started here on YouTube, I was in the reseller niche and my first digital product was how to, you know, making money A to Z with self storage and auctions. So I was out there 
buying, well, I was out here educating people on how to buy and sell stuff, you know, the book. And I had many people who didn't never bought the storage auction, but they bought the book and they benefited so greatly from it. It was amazing. You know, it was all cool. I love to resell entry. I love, you know, buying units and I love going through them and reading the prisoner letters and stuff. I love that stuff. And I, I really love the community. And then as I started to do well, the hate became intensified. The hate became stupid. I had people saying in the comment section, because I was living well, I was doing well. I had money literally coming out of every orifice of my body. And I had people hating. And it got to the point where other resellers, YouTube resellers would start doing hangouts about me because I was the top dog. I was the godfather, one of the founding godfellows of the reseller community. And a lot of folks to this day don't even wanna, you know, bow down and give proper respect. But that's cool, because I moved on. I got to a point where I began to hate the reseller community. I began to hate the pettiness. I began to hate the hate. And I, after, you know, I actually had to sue people. I actually got YouTube channels deleted. It was that ridiculous. And then I just like, I'm going to take my ball and I'm going to go home and I'm going to talk about business education, which is where I'm at today. And do not go out and create a business that you hate. It will keep you up at night. It will cause problems. You will be unhappy. You will be miserable. I mean, it was just like I, one day I just like, I can't do this anymore. So what's the point? Cause you know, there's this industry with a gang of money, but once you get into it, you, you, you ain't gonna like it. So let's make 2020 the year of preparation. I'm getting ready to reformat Hustlers Kung Fu. And one of the things that I'm gonna do is I'm raising the prices. So if there's something that you want, there's something you've been looking at and you've been hoping that the price was gonna go down, psych, the price is about to go up. And one of the things that I'm going to do for a lot of the people and this, we're not going backwards because once again, my time is precious, but I'm going to create a LLC business plan um, course situation where I'll get on the phone and I'll talk to you about your business. But this is going to include the art of holding and I'm going to throw in some other stuff because uh, that's going to be like about five G's. Once again, 2020, the year of preparation, we got to get serious business people, people who want to create generational wealth for their families, people who want to change their lives. I've literally, I was at, let's see, I was a kid at one point, I was in abject poverty, joined the middle class, middle class by joining the military, got out of the military, kind of maintained that level, got laid off, then thrust into business environments where I became the upper middle class panel systems in business environments. So I transcended from abject poverty to the upper middle class and from the upper middle class to rich. You can do it. And this was done through business ownership. This wasn't done through the stock market. This wasn't done through real estate. And I did it very quickly. One of the things is a business will make you rich within a decade. Stock market, real estate, it usually takes decades. So one of the things that I want you to do is to join me in this journey of becoming economically solvent, financially literate, and making a gang of money. Making a gang of money. It's out there for you if you go for it. If you Go ahead and set it up. So this is Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu, and I invite you on this economic journey because if I can do it, you can do it too. It's just gonna take a little work. It's gonna take a change in the mindset, and I've got products and services to help you get there. So below is an email list. So I want you to get on the email list and if there's anything at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, I want you to go below and go ahead and grab that real quick because I will be raising the prices uh, very soon. So with that, I'll see you guys later. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.